My name is Anushka Rawdon and I'm the Collections Manager at the Society of Antiquities of London. So I essentially look after 45,000 objects in the museum collection. The Society is 300 and something years old. So we started in 1707 and it was initially three men who all got together in a London tavern and had a shared interest in uh, material culture, specifically um, of the British Isles. And the Society's been in continual existence for that um, 300 years. And um, now we continue to use the collection to promote um, research, conservation, um, public access, um, essentially anything that encourages um, an interaction with material culture in the past and we're very strong on disseminating that message to as wide an audience as possible. The Society is working with Aberystwyth University to um, offer uh, work placements working directly with our collections. So a work placement with us for an intense period, for example maybe three weeks, would involve you getting to handle objects, learning some basic conservation techniques, um, photographing objects, auditing them, improving their packing, again that's uh, preventive conservation. So it's all hands-on skills that would feed into any interest that you might have in a career in the Heritage or Museum sector. Um, the, uh, the sector is very vibrant, it's um, challenging, it's interesting, it balances um, academic and intellectual activities with practical activities so it can be very hands-on and it's hugely rewarding. So museums um, very much benefit communities, benefit visitors and also any work with the collections to improve their care and improve our understanding of them directly feeds into better understanding material culture in the past. So even a small project can have a big impact. Some of the benefits of doing a placement, it might be that you're not entirely sure if you want to have a career in a museum or heritage yet and a placement will sort of hone your understanding of the heritage sector and it might sort of make you know what area you want to pursue. It also can help um, encourage you to grow other skills, so transferable skills. Um, it can be anything from sort of inventory work, digital photography, object handling, um, those sorts of activities that are really important. The key thing to remember in museums is that you need to balance your sort of academic qualifications with your practical skills. So anything that you can get on your CV now will sort of pay dividends when you're coming to actually look for a job in museums or in heritage in the future. Um, it also helps to show your sort of commitment to the sector as well. So you've taken part in something as a student. Um, so you've got quite a, you're able to show that, that from the point of your sort of academic study, you've been looking at a career in heritage. Um, so it's a definite benefit and it also sort of teaches you to work with others, team building, teamwork and you'll get to see um, a museum in terms of its activities beyond collection. So what else goes on in a museum? There's fundraising, there's public access, there's research, there's um, we've also got a library which not every museum has. Um, so it'll also sort of give you a broader understanding of what it is to work in a museum.